Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop question in Active Presenter. A drag and drop question is a kind of interactive question which has multiple drop sources and drop targets and requires users to map them correctly. It's crucial when you want to create an e-learning course. Having questions require learners to match multiple types of objects to complete a test. To create a drag and drop question, open the interaction tab first, then click the drag and drop icon. A drag and drop question appears in the canvas. Type the question title in the question session. Here are address sources and drop targets that have been inserted automatically. You can use them for a question or insert other favorite images than shapes for a more customizable quiz. These are feedback messages inserted automatically. Now delete the address sources and drop targets and show you how to insert images or shapes then convert them into address sources and drop targets. Go to Question Toolbox and click the Insert Object button. From here, you can insert images or shapes. Choose the one that you want to insert in. Resize and rearrange them in proper position. I'll place animals in one group and their foods in the other. Now we are going to convert these food images into drag sources. Select images that you want to convert. Hold Ctrl or Shift while clicking to select multiple ones. Then go to the drag and drop session in the properties pane and click the drag source button. The effect here lets you set the effect for the drag source, which will display whenever the user drags it. For example, when you select zoom effect, the drop target will zoom in when you drag the drag source over it and similar for the highlight effect. Click the checkbox if you want dress sources to be sent back to their original position when they are dropped in incorrect positions. Okay, now I'm going to convert these animal images into drop targets. Same to converting objects into dress sources. First, you have to select objects. And click the drop target button in the properties pane. In the drag and drop question, a drop target can contain more than a dress source, and a message will be on reset or on reset, rather than on correct and on incorrect. The effect of the drop target is the same to the one in the drag source. In the accept behavior session, you can specify how the presentation will respond when users drop a drag source into a drop target. You can choose to play a short audio when the drag source is accepted or rejected in the accept and reject soundbox, respectively. Accept list is where you can set which drag source is accepted one for each drop target. The accepted drop sources tab had a settings like other kinds of interactive objects and questions settings. You can define which one will be accepted by each drop target by clicking the checkbox. On the other hand, the snap behavior session defines properties of drop sources after they are dropped into the selected targets. Choose the size for a drop source in size box. It's the percentage of the drop source original size that will display after they are dropped into drop targets. Set position and direction on which Active Presenter will base to arrange dress source positions after users drop them. Now we are going to define the correct matches. Map the dress sources to drop targets to set the correct answers for the question. Or in other way, you can select the question and go to click the Event Properties icon to open the Event Editor. The Event Editor window pops up. In the Answer tab, you can define the matching pairs for dress sources and drop targets. You can set the points that learners will gain for each correct match. The setting tab on correct, on incorrect, on incomplete, and on timeout tab are the same to those in our interactive questions. Please refer to our video working with feedback objects available on our website for more details. Okay, now explore the project to HTML find to see the result and effect for it. You can also explore it to SCORM or Tinkan ABI for uploading to learning management system later.
And here is a report session. So that's how to create a drag and drop question in IT Presenter. Thank you for watching.